So we're on our way. It's one of those mornings where it was kind of wet and black at the start. And I'm guessing the sun has come up, but it's kind of gone brown rather than any, yeah, it's a weird, it's a weird sunrise brown mizzle. But kind of fitting, I think, for an epic. So anyway, we're at Stowe, had a mega scotch egg. Best thing I've had for ages. Um, and then we're gonna crack on. It's a good time for a situation report. Um, situation is damp. The road is damp, the air is damp, and I am damp. So we're coming across the top of the Cotswolds. Dare I say it, the sun might actually be coming out. And that would be very much appreciated. I've got two numb feet. Just kind of goes up, up, up and down. But each time a little bit more up and down. Just down there you can see Sudley Castle right behind the trees. So. Taking it nice and easy. Something about trying to preserve my legs for the next 200 and odd k more. <laughs> Starting to get a little bit of a headwind building as the weather, the low pressure systems are moving in from the Atlantic and hopefully turn the corner at Chepstow. Get a nice tailwind. And isn't that spectacular? Look at that. Got a real feeling that we're close to Wales here. Uh, Look at that little fella. I suppose that's the only downside if you're on a bike. There's an awful lot of up and down. What I love about cycling in these sorts of places, all you hear is pretty much bird song. It's a fantastic old forest there. Really big old oak trees. It's really nice. This guy just stopped back there. Just have a break. I don't blame him because. Down here. Well, I can totally see why someone thought it would be a good idea. It's pretty nice, isn't it? Hard to know what to say about it. This uh, Sudri Park, I think it said. Uh, it's nice, isn't it? Pine trees and beech trees. I mean, if you can just get a glimpse of those trees, they're enormous. And suddenly we've been kind of going through this kind of mizzle down there and the sun just came out from over there. I'll tell you what, there's an awful lot of up and down in the forest of Dean. This is the sort of thing you don't see everywhere, isn't it? Sheep just wandering around in the village. We've just gone top to bottom on the Forest of Dean. Not quite there yet, almost. And it's bloody hilly, I tell you. That's the sight for sore eyes, I tell you. It's a kind of, it's a really brown white today, isn't it? I mean, I'm in the 70s. 
whole the sky is brown and everything it's just brown. And look there's a sign here that offers dike Wales. check in the cars we're over halfway following to Molnesbury uh, I have to confess I've never had a triple bounty <laughs> so Somerset Monument apparently I don't know if we are in Somerset but we just come up a monster hill look it says 14% on the sign felt like it you look like you haven't even broken a sweat <laughs> Okay. So, it's five o'clock. On the road to six in the morning. Not an hour. And 208 kilometers. ETA at that rate of progress. Like, I've no real clue where we are, I don't even know there's somewhere near Marlborough. late on a Saturday night and I pondered the questions and I wondered if I'd found the answers. I thought about what I'd learnt, what had gone well, what hadn't gone so well, what had surprised me and what might I do differently next time. And so I meandered back through the quiet city streets to get my final control point, my final receipt proved that I had done the D300. And with my first audax done, I felt like I could call myself a randomer. 